Welcome to another episode of Drawing the Defense. I am your host, and in this video, we're going to be diving into some film of Mr. Big Face himself, Jimmy Buckets. So here's how we're going to do this. We've got seven plays, and we're going to watch each of them in real time, then rewind them and break them down. Hopefully you'll learn some X's and O's as well as what makes Jimmy Butler great. Before we get started, if you're into this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to help me out. So let's get to the first play. Okay, so this is a popular NBA set called Horns Fist, and for those of you that don't know, Horns is in alignment with a ball handler up top, two men at the elbows, and two men in the corners. So Jimmy's got the ball up top, and Lowry's going to set a ball screen for him, which Desmond Bain goes over the screen, but he doesn't move his feet quickly enough to stay in front of Butler, so John Morant has to help on the drive. Now, a lot of players would recognize that Lowry is open due to the help and make this pass to the open man. But this is what separates the elite from the average, and what Jimmy does is he takes two more steps and gets in the air, which forces Ja to stay in help position a split second longer. Ja knew the whole time he had to get back to Lowry, and he probably could have recovered if Jimmy made the pass earlier, but since Jimmy forced him to commit to the help, he has a few more steps to make up on the closeout. Additionally, the other man on the elbow, Dwayne Dedman, is now setting a flare screen for Lowry to make it even more difficult for Ja to recover, and Lowry gets a clean look at a three. Next play. So this is one of my favorite actions in the NBA, and it's called split action. The ball gets entered into the post, and after making the pass, Dwayne Dedman sets an off-ball screen for Tyler Hero to curl off for a three. Patty Mills anticipates this route, and Hero recognizes that he's being overplayed by Mills. So instead of using the screen, he cuts back door, and since Mills is now trailing him, LaMarcus Aldridge has to help prevent a layup. Since Aldridge has to help, Dwayne Dedman can now pop out for an open jumper. Next play. Okay, so we've got Jimmy at the elbow, and on the weak side, they're setting up a double off-ball screen for Duncan Robinson. You can see the way that Melton is playing Robinson. He's playing on the top side in order to stop Robinson from using those screens. So the natural counter for that is to cut back door, which he does. Now this is poor defense from Memphis, as Jaron Jackson Jr. thinks he needs to help on the back door cut, but Steven Adams is already in position to help. Since Jaron is out of position, Morris can easily pop out for a clean look at three. Next play. This might be my favorite of these plays because it utilizes a concept I'm obsessed with, which is an empty corner. When the offense empties out the corner, there's obviously no defender there, which is the easiest place for the defense to rotate from to stop the roll man. Now since there's no defender here in the corner to stop Jimmy's roll, the help has to come from the weak side, which is an awful lot of ground to cover. I really apologize for this, you guys, but I have no idea how to pronounce this dude's name, so we'll call him Mamu. Now, when Mamu rotates away from Deadman and Deadman gets close to the basket, Thanasis has to cover him to prevent a layup. Now, look at this spacing, you guys. This is freaking beautiful. Hero's man has to be able to rotate to the weak side corner in case the pass goes there but Hero is standing so far outside the three-point line that it's an incredible distance to cover. And here, Hero isn't even in the frame. So Jimmy's got a decision to make. He can go for a contested layup, he can make a difficult dump-off pass for Deadman to get a layup, or he can hit Morris in the corner. 
Now this frame is very telling. He makes eye contact with Morris in the corner, which causes Nanassus to jump into the passing lane and out of help for the dump off pass. From there, it's an easy pass and layup for Deadman. Next play. In the first play of this video, we looked at a horn set, and at first glance, this looks like a horn set, but it isn't because Robinson is going to relocate to the other side of the floor, which is typically called overloading the strong side. So you can see that basically every player is on one side of the court. So we've got Bam at the elbow, and it looks like the Pacers are anticipating a pin down for Hero, but instead he's setting a back screen for Butler. Now, one way to defend this would be to switch the back screen, but Holiday does not recognize the opportunity to switch because he's trying to deny a pin down. Another way to defend this would be to have Duarte help and probably foul Jimmy at the rim, but if he left Robinson, then Robinson could use this screen by PJ Tucker. There's just so many options in Spoh's offense. Anyway, it's an easy lob to Butler for the layup. Next play. Okay, so this looks like an isolation for Jimmy Butler, but instead, Duncan Robinson runs toward him for a handoff. Now we all know that Robinson is an elite shooter, so Holiday is forced to hedge this action and move up towards the perimeter. Butler counters this by slipping the screen into space, and once again, we've got an empty corner. This forces the help from Sabonis. Sabonis does a good job of rotating, but Jimmy has such a good touch from this distance that he can simply make the floater over him. And for an extra treat, here's the same play a few minutes earlier in the game. Final play. In this play, we have a simple inverted pick and pop, and due to Butler's driving ability and Robinson's shooting ability, the Nets are forced to switch. But Joe Harris can't reliably guard Jimmy on the switch, so Paul Millsap needs to be ready to help on the drive. Additionally, you can see Bam sneaking around here waiting for an interior pass, and Harden is aware of this, but when Jimmy goes baseline, he once again looks at the corner man, which makes Harden move out of position to help on Bam, who gets the dump off pass and layup. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Remember to leave a comment and subscribe for future videos. Peace!